Here we're going to solve the equation for the missing matrix. And the matrix here is M. So I'm noticing that this matrix is a 3 by 2 and this matrix is a 3 by 2. So if we're adding two matrices to get this guy, M will also have to be a 3 by 2. So I'm just going to jot that down right there, 3 by 2. Okay, so really what it means to solve for a, a variable here or a missing value, we need to isolate it by using our properties of equality, just like we learned about in Algebra 1. So if I know this matrix is being added to this matrix and I'm trying to isolate this variable, I need to subtract this guy from this side. I got to get rid of him. So I'm going to put him over here by subtracting him from both sides. So I'm just going to rewrite all this and I'm going to use the subtraction notation here. There we go. So when I effectively do this, these cancel out because they're identical and they're being subtracted from one another. The M here is going to be all alone and that's the point of that. So I just need to do this matrix subtraction. So how do we subtract two matrices? Well we're going to subtract their corresponding entries. So 2 minus 4 is going to be negative 2 and those were in the first uh, first row and first column, so I'm going to put that in the first row, first column. So let's work our way down. So 9 minus 9, that's going to be 0, row 2, column 1. Negative 3 minus a negative 8 is going to be the same as negative 3 plus 8, so that'll be 5. So let's do this other column. 0 minus a negative 3 will be 0 plus 3. 4 minus 2 well, that'd be 2. And negative 3 minus 1 will be negative 4. So the solution for this equation is this 3 by 2 matrix, negative 2, 3, 0, 2, and 5, negative 4 will be the answer for M.